Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at this uh, USB load from Rui Tang and this one is the uh, LD25. Uh, so the 25 basically means that this is a 25 watt load and there is another version available which is the LD35 uh, which is a 35 watt load. So without any further delay let's quickly take a look at this load. This came in this uh, bubble wrapping and a uh, thermo coal box. So this is the physical appearance. You can see the uh, fan on top. Under that you can see the heat sink which is connected to the actual load, electronic load which keeps the load cool. Load cool. And here is your uh, three types of input. So you've got your uh, USB A type input, your micro USB, sorry, a USB C input, uh, USB mic uh, micro USB input and you can also disconnect the fan if you want however for normal usage uh, it is you should always uh, keep the fan connected at the back you can see the uh, four bit uh, LCD displays uh, which displays uh, three three measurements that is your current uh, your uh, power and your uh, voltage in volts here is your potentiometer you can use this potentiometer to increase the current and decrease the uh, current so it's a multi-loop potentiometer so you have to keep uh, rotating it until you reach the value you want uh, to increase the value uh, uh, in bigger values uh, rotate the potentiometer really fast and to inc increase the value slowly uh, rotate the potentiometer slowly at the back you will get two buttons on and off button so on and off button is used to turn on the load and turn off the load so uh, if you want once you plug the unit in uh, to start the load you have to press this button if you want the unit to work as soon as you plug the load on load into a charger you want to change the setting to always on uh, this charger uh, sorry this load comes with uh, three types of protection your over power protection over voltage protection as well as your over temperature protection so as soon as the temperature reaches uh, more than 80 degrees celsius the unit uh, goes into the over temperature protection and stops working so that keeps the unit from damaging it also comes with the over voltage protection so as soon as you reaches the voltage of more than uh, 25 volts uh, it also uh, 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 reaches uh, triggers the 25 volts or a total of 25 watts it triggers the voltage uh, protection and the power protection if you reaches more than 25 watt power as this is a 25 watt load at the back you can see that this comes with uh, four standoffs uh, it would have been nice if they had given some kind of uh, plexiglass or plastic on those standoffs uh, that would have been nice however these standoffs uh, can help you keep the unit on any surface without having to worrying about uh, damaging the components sometimes the surface that we are working on is made of metal and if we just put the unit like that it there is a chance that we, we may damage the uh, unit so these standoffs these plastic plastic standoffs keeps the unit from touching the surface and then stops the unit from uh, damaging by short circuiting any component so you can also measure, you can use this load to measure the quality of wires, uh, USB-C cable as well as your micro USB cable. So there is a simple formula, you set the load to 1 amp and if you set the load to 1 amp uh, by the Ohm's law V equals uh, IR, the voltage drop uh, is basically equals to the resistance of the cable. So if you set the load to 1 ampere and then you measure the voltage drop uh, directly uh, and compared to when you plug in a micro USB cable or a USB C cable, the voltage drop is directly equals to the uh, your uh, uh, resistance of the cable. So to test this unit, all we are going to do is I'm going to use my Oki uh, 3.0 Qualcomm 3.0 fast charging charger. It comes with a six port. The bottom four ports are your standard charger charging ports, and the top two ports are your Qualcomm 3.0 charging ports. Uh, one thing that uh, to look at for in this meter is that we cannot see how much uh, although we can see how much current we are drawing uh, but to be more precise we will need another equipment which is a USB meter so that we can see uh, what we are measuring is in fact correct or not so let me just plug the unit in and now let me plug the load in okay so as you can see once you plug the load in the 
first thing that you see is the current and which is flashing the flashing basically means is that it is the load is currently not on to turn the load on all you have to do is press the on button on the unit meter you can see that we are not drawing uh, any uh, current we are drawing some current because the unit is working a little bit but that not a huge current and the power is also about 0 0 something 0 watt so to turn the load on all i have to do is let's uh, take the current to uh, 1 amp to increase the current all you have to do is uh, rotate, rotate the potentiometer in and uh, clockwise motion until you reaches the desired value so we're looking for 1 amp so there we go 1 amp and now if I press the on button you will see that on our USB meter the current will increase to 1 amp so if I press the button when I press the button this will go stationary this will go stable and it is stable now and as you can see on the meter we are drawing almost 1 amp which is 0 0.99 uh, something amp and on the power you can see that we are drawing 5.05 watt and on the load you can see there is another button which says set and using this set button you can change the display from current to power p for power and currently we are drawing 5.0 watt and on the unit you can also see that we are drawing 5.03 watt so which is very accurate uh, the third thing that you can see on the uh, um, uh, load is your voltage and you can see the voltage we are drawing 5.0 volt and on the unit you can also see that we are drawing 5.0 volt okay now there is not much you can do with this load but you can uh, change the settings of the load so that when you so when you first plug the load on you can see that the load is not on and uh, the setting is keep flashing so if you don't want that if you want the load to work as soon as you plug the unit in all you have to do is press the uh, on off button long press the on off button so there are two options either on and off if you release the button on the off that means when you plug the load on, on into a charger you will have to press the button to turn the load on if you release the button on the on position that means as soon as you plug the load on it will start working instantaneously so as you can see at this moment it is in off position and the thing is flashing that means if I plug the unit in nothing will happen the load will not turn on to turn on the load I will have to press the on button and now the load is on if I don't want that and I want as soon as I plug the load in the load should start working to do that long press this button until you see on as we saw we saw on and now the load is in on position so now if I plug the load on in into a charger it will again automatically start working without have without me having to turn the load on so that's your one setting other thing that you can do is you can turn on and off the your uh, protection or, or or the protection of the uh, load so to do that all you have to do is uh, press long press the set button and now the protection is on and if you long press the set button now the protection is off I really don't understand what is the function of this on and off function of the set button but it is quite difficult to uh, explain or uh, understand on their website as well I read the manual but I couldn't get much information after that so there we go and if you want to change back uh, to the on off setting that is uh, once you plug the load on you want the load you want to turn on the load yourself uh, long press the button until you see off and then release the button so now the load is working and if I th plug the load back in the load will not work until I press the on button so when I plug the on button you can see the current start increasing and I, if I again press the button the load will turn off now the specification of this load are uh, uh, very simple so this load can basically this load is basically uh, can measure uh, a load up to 25 watt and it can measure current values of 250 milliampere to 4 amperes okay now let's say you want to measure the uh, quality of a cable so today uh, I've got a micro USB cable here and you want to measure the quality of this cable so first you will do is basically uh, connect your uh, USB meter and then connect your uh, load 
to the USB meter directly and set the current to 1 amp then turn on the uh, load you will see the voltage so we are getting about 5.09 volt at 1 amp so we are getting a voltage of 5.09 volt let's write that down so voltage previously we are getting 5.09 volt let's make sure uh, yes we are getting 5.09 volt at 1 amp now connect the load or the USB meter instead of directly connecting connecting the USB meter to the charger connect the USB meter using the uh, micro USB cable so I've got a micro USB cable here so now let's connect it mm. there we go and we are still at 1 ampere so again turn on the load when I turn on the load I can see a volt see the voltage we're getting 4.89 4.89 let's call it 4.89 so 4.89 so according to now according to the ohm's law we have voltage equals to IR and in this case the current was 1 so if the current is 1 we can say that voltage is equals to the resistance and all we have to do is measure the voltage drop so to do to calculate the voltage drop we have to subtract the voltage the previous voltage which we got by directly connecting the charger to the uh, uh, directly connecting the USB meter to the charger and then we will subtract the voltage that we got after connecting the uh, USB meter so we get a uh, if we subtract these two values we will get a value of 0 0.2 volt and so basically the resistance of the cable is equal to the voltage drop which is 0 0.2 ohms and that's when that is when we take a current value as 1 amp and that's how you can calculate the resistance of a cable so there we go this was my video of the uh, Rui Dang LD2525 watt load. I hope you found this video helpful. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.